Hi, Jennifer Angel. Hi there, Cancer. This is my report for you for the week of June the 26th. So it's all happening in your sign. Yay! What a great time this is for you. And if you're waiting for news to come through, it can come through this week. Okay, now there's a couple of things. We've got like, first of all, right at the start of the week, there's a connection between Mars and Neptune. Mars is in your sign. So Mars gives some sort of urgency about things. It can also also make you feel a little bit unsettled because you know you have to sort of play the chess game of life and wait for things to fall into place and Mars wants to rush forward so you know try to harness that unsettled feeling do some meditation um, you know sit quietly I mean I meditation is fantastic I would have everybody doing meditation I mean it's and, and Oprah has um, she has some great meditation programs that she's done with Deepak and uh, or there's um, on my YouTube channel here you go through you'll see meditative music I quite often listen to the solfeggio music and there's one there like it's a five minute I think it's like on the first you know um, first one on the playlist it's five minutes long I love that because you know it's very centering you only need five minutes I know that's even hard to get sometimes but anyway that would be really good for you right now now particularly as there is this trine between Mars and Neptune tune um, it puts you it helps you get in touch with your soul purpose what you really want to do in life um, and just regroup your energies but the main thing happening for you this week cancer is we've got three aspects with um, Mercury, Mercury, the planet of commerce and communication in your sign okay so the first one Mercury is square um, Jupiter. Now this is around your home and family area so d try not to get over um, if somebody like is exaggerating you know a situation that can come through then pull it back a little bit keep it in perspective of course <clears throat> you know keep that big vision there but you know there's a, there's a line between unrealistic and and reality so somewhere in that middle is that is that line of, of where things happen particularly when there's a square with, with a Jupiter now there's also a conjunction with Mercury and uh, Mars so midweek so if you've been waiting on news and possibly news to do with a close relationship because then at the end of the week um, Mercury is going to be opposite Pluto but this does sort of indicate to me that news is imminent okay and when it does come through it will come through fast you'll have to make a decision and turn it around okay but it's very transformational in some way because Pluto Pluto is the planet of transformation so it's uh, and sometimes when we look at relationships it can be with someone else but then the relationship comes back to ourselves so um, you know I feel really good about this for you I hope it is for everyone and um, we do have Venus still sitting in your area of friendship so there's nice connections with friends uh, during this time too okay so uh, you can you know reach out to the people that you feel most comfortable with okay so the card I've selected for you from the John Holland uh, psychic tarot oracle pack one of my favorite packs is intuition okay so you want to um, trust your intuition you are you know a, a water sign you are highly intuitive and for all this going on so pay attention to it pay it and look for the signs the signposts the signs of synchronicity so serendipity if you've never seen that movie it's a great movie to see um, so all right now if you haven't already subscribed to my newsletter I've got that going now it took me a while but it's up and running out every week please go on to jenniferangel.com and do that I'd love it if you would do that for me and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can do that on the site as well okay thanks so much for watching we'll see you next week bye for now